if you don't have a good partner that you can lean on, you're not going to do well in the competition. And Tony for me was like my saving grace and amazing. And yeah, he's, he's a buddy for life for sure. Obviously uh, Dancing with the Stars, the big finale is coming up. You uh, were in those shoes. I, I, have you been rooting on Caitlin? Have you talked to her? And what's your advice going into the, the finale? Yeah, I think Caitlin has done great. I mean, I, I look back at the Bachelor and Bachelorette contestants going, we kind of rock on <laughs> Dancing with the Stars, <laughs> don't we? I mean, more wins than misses. But I, I think she's done great. I love her and Artem as a couple. I will say, I love me some Nelly. I do too. Um, I love Nelly. One, when he went out there and he danced to his own song and I was like, did he just do a backflip? Oh my God, I'm so team Nelly. Um, and I love that he's embraced it the way he has because I was like, I don't know, maybe he won't take it too seriously because it's not cool. And he has, yeah. and I love him. I think Neve, mm -hmm. who would have thought? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I knew he was the catfish guy going in, but he's one of those people that this show has basically introduced you to, you know, and he's an amazing dancer. And then you have Justina, who I don't know how you watch her and not smile. Like she's just so happy out there all the time. And I don't know. I don't, I think, I think it could be anybody's game this year, just for different reasons. They I all have like, such different strengths. Uh, yeah. I feel like the talent and the, uh, this year has been like a whole different level. Like you really don't know who is going to win. It's crazy. Do you still uh, talk with Tony at all? I do. So this season I've started posting like flashback videos yeah. every time that Dancing with the Stars is on and I tag him and then we'll just start talking like, oh man, we were good. I forgot and how much fun <laughs> we had. I mean, I love, it's a, it's an arranged marriage for, for Tony and I, it was seven months because we did it twice. And we're lucky that we got along the way we did because there's nobody else that goes through an experience like that and don't have a good partner that you can lean on, you're not gonna do well in the competition. And Tony for me was like my saving grace and amazing and yeah, he's, he's a buddy for life for sure. Definitely, that's so funny that you say it's like an arranged marriage because it seems like everybody that's, or for the most part that, yeah. that they're paired up, there's, you, got, you guys get so close and yeah. get these strong bonds, these strong friendships. You get strong bonds and friendships, but you also get really frustrated with each other too. You know, I mean, you are with a stranger and you're both heightened and stressed and maxed out that that's where sometimes you get some of the biggest fights <laughs> ever. Cause you're like, I have nobody else to talk to but you. And, um, but yeah, I mean, you have to, you have to trust the professional that they know what they're doing and the professional has to trust you as well. And if you can have that respect, I mean, you've seen the friendships and there's some relationships that have come out of Definitely. Dancing with the Stars. What, Kim and uh, Hershevik, right? Yes. Yep, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not surprising. You guys spend, you know, you spend so much time together and if the romantic spark is there, it's gonna happen. Nikki and Artem, another yeah, one. Nikki and Artem, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. There's quite a few, <laughs> and the pro dancers too, Emma and- exactly. <laughs> <laughs>